Waiting for this moment for a long time. And it's finally here. Nearly 20 months after the U.S. closed its borders to international tourists, the country lifting its ban for vaccinated travelers. Families reuniting with emotional embraces. Uh, she was very happy and she was so excited to see that our family reunion. Travelers need to show proof of a negative COVID test no more than three days before travel. Flights packed. Many inbound international flights Monday sold out. So my nephew, my mom's first grandson, we haven't met him, he's just turned one, so we're yeah. really excited. Haven't seen my brother and sister in law for two years. A sign of normalcy at the airports and in New York City over the weekend. 30,000 people running in the marathon Sunday. Our whole mantra has been welcome back. Let's run this city. Let's be back. Let's come together. This as more children ages 5 to 11 get vaccinated. COVID is still out here. I want to make sure she's safe and secure to be in school. New York City hosting pop up vaccination sites at public schools. Chicago closing schools Friday so parents can have time to vaccinate their kids if they choose to. It's like nice to feel that our kids can now be a bit safer. Meantime, the Justice Department is vowing to defend the Biden administration's vaccine mandate for all businesses with 100 employees or more after a federal appeals court temporarily blocked it this weekend, questioning its constitutionality. In Los Angeles, one of the strictest vaccine mandates in the country went into effect Monday, requiring people to show proof of full vaccination to enter many indoor businesses like restaurants, gyms and bars. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.